everyone, it's Finn. I'm making a video today, not about changes, but about something I've been thinking about, and that is my internal self-image. Now this is something I talked about ages ago, about um, how I felt that when I first came out as trans, I lost my whole identity in terms of who I was before, and then kind of starting to find my new identity as a man but that I'd been finding it really, really hard because obviously people weren't seeing the, the real me. People were reading me as female because there were so many cues on me to give me away as female that people weren't seeing, seeing who I really was and I felt kind of really invisible. Um, and I said that it was almost like I couldn't build an identity because no matter how hard I tried to build an identity, because people weren't seeing the man that I am. Every time I went out, it was like the man rug was whipped out from under my feet because I would be called she, madam, miss, whatever. And so my attempts to even kind of try and start creating an identity, understanding my ident identity, was just not working. So I just want to talk about how this is happening now that I'm on testosterone and I'm read, being read far more consistently as male. I am definitely read so much more often as a man, no questions asked. But I notice that this hasn't made the wobbly self-image go away and it also hasn't given me an identity yet, it's something that I'm still creating. At the moment, when I look in my head, if I try and kind of see a mental image of myself, it's like the face is blurred out I can't quite see what I look like and I think this is very common for us all I think you know I, when, I'm on, when I'm on forums or chatting to any trans guy they always say you know oh, you look 100% male to me and they're like really I can't see it and I think that's something that we all have in common that it's really hard to see what other people see and I think it's especially hard for us trans guys as well it's certainly hard for me because I, I kind of feel one minute I do look like a bloke and the next minute I think oh I've got too many female cues that are giving off stuff and it's like I have this constant dialogue in my head all the time and I'm really aware of it at the moment because I'm up in my meditation that whenever I'm anywhere when I'm out running and people go past and they look my first thought is like are they looking to work out if I'm male or female bloody bloody blah, blah, blah it doesn't even cross my mind that they might just be thinking what well, there's a hench bloke running they might be thinking that. You never know. But yeah, I've got this constant dialogue in my head, you know, are they reading me correctly? Are they seeing me as male? Are they looking at me because my gender is ambiguous? You know, all of these things are in my head and it does my head in. I would just like to say to everybody out there that's much longer on tea than me, please tell me this goes away. Please tell me there comes a point where you don't have this constant voice in your head being really paranoid going, Am I being read correctly? Did they see me as a man? Or are they looking at me and thinking I'm a freak? Are they looking at me and not quite sure? Blah, 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 blah. Does that ever stop? Please tell me it stops, right? Um, but the other thing that I'm noticing that's really annoying as well, right, is that I'm being read more correctly as male. Fantastic. Nine times out of ten, I can't actually I can't think of the last time when someone got my gender wrong. It's amazing. But I'm second guessing it all the time. It's like I can't sink into it and enjoy it. Whenever someone says, can I help you, sir? And then I speak, I wonder if they're changing their mind or if they see me differently now or if they guess I'm trans, they're just humouring me. D you know what I mean? I just, I can't seem to just, don't get me wrong, I am enjoying every single moment that I'm related to 100% as the man that I am. I'm loving it. But there's that bit in my head that still has to question. Um... I had this amazing experience yesterday. I went into um, Curry's, or you know, a well-known electrical shop, and I was looking for a laptop. I'm trying to get one of these newfangled tablet read book thingies. I don't know anything about technology, as you can tell. Anyway, this um, chap comes up to me and he said, "Are you a right fella?" Now, whenever I get offered help, I always say no. A because I don't like people selling me stuff. And B, I always feel awkward about my gender. But I went back up to him and said, actually, yes, I would like some help. So he was like, no worries, fella. Shook my hand. And the way he was relating to me was 100% saw me as a bloke, no question. 
you can tell, can't you, the difference between kind of people gendering you correctly and people gendering you correctly because they just completely assume you are a man as they see you are, because I am a man, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so this guy's like really relating to me as a bloke, kind of taking me around all these different laptops and chatting to me and um, his friend was buzzing around the store as well and he had nobody to sell to so they were kind of bouncing off each other and chatting to me and this other shop assistant turned around to the guy that was with me and said oh show him this and show him that and him this him that and it was amazing and really I would have been out of there in two minutes but I was loving it so much I just kept asking questions just because I was enjoying being correctly gendered it was amazing but all the way through it my head was going I've moved in a certain direction is looking at my arm has he now kind of looked at my arm and gone that arm's not man enough I don't think this person's a man you know all of this stuff is going on all the time I guess it will go over time as I become more confident in the man that I am as the man I am but I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that I need to adjust this mental image of myself because I think even when I look in the mirror I have the odd moment I had this a little while ago a few weeks ago where I looked in the mirror one morning and there was just no question. I looked in the mirror and I just saw myself real. I saw me, the man. I didn't look in the mirror and go, oh, I'm not looking male enough. I actually just saw the man and it was amazing. It took my breath away. But a lot of time I look in the mirror and I still look ambiguous to me. Or I try and look and I can't see properly. You know, you know what I mean? It's like my mental image of the old female presenting me and the new way I'm looking is kind of just like blurring over one another and I can't properly pick out the correct image. Um, I mean, as I keep saying, my anxiety is just so much better, but I think that is down to the hormones. The hormones have done something inside me that's made my anxiety so much more level. What I now need to do to really challenge the anxiety more is to become more and more confident in myself as a man I am, to stop questioning it. I know I'm a man, absolutely 100% know I'm a man, no question about it. I just had the misfortune to be born with a body that people usually get assigned to as, as female. They made a mistake, it's not their fault. I had bits that look female, it's not their fault. But I'm not a woman, I'm a bloke. I know this, no question now, 100 million percent about this. But in terms of how I look, I am still concerned that I've got too much about me that gives me a waste female. And I obviously haven't, because I'm being read as male. See, it's different with trans guys because perception is what makes up what you see. I mean, like there are loads of guys I've met who were pre-T and to me 100% male, but to friends of mine, they just saw them as women because it is your perception that makes up what you see. It's like when me and Nat are together. Me and Nat are together, I'm often she'd. When I'm alone, I'm he'd. People's perception and the way we pick um, cues off people and the people they're with and the situations they're in all these things are what makes up how we perceive someone um, I've lost why I that was important <laughs> but yeah I am um, I do think that it's different with trans guys that's right it's different with trans guys I do feel 100% seen as male by trans guys and I know they're not questioning it it's with cis people that I feel that they're questioning it when they're not ah. I'm waffling a bit I hope you get what I'm on about here that I basically just need to adjust that mental image. I need to work on somehow. Maybe it's just a case that this is going to build with time. The more I'm correctly gendered, the more I'm feeling comfortable in a male role and in a male environment, the better it will be. Because I do feel around cis guys, around cis anybody really, or anybody that doesn't know I'm trans, that I'm not fully relaxing. There's that little dialogue in my head and it's like on the one hand I'm loving it I'm not a real manly man but whenever I'm a, in a situation with men and they're just completely relating to me as a bloke it's a beautiful feeling a beautiful feeling but I can't sink into just enjoying that with them because it's almost like I'm watching myself it's like yoohoo I've been read correctly now don't do anything to spoil it you know it's that kind of feeling so yeah anyway I just wanted to share this because it's something that's become very apparent over the last couple of weeks Every time I'm running, my voice is going, Do you think they're seeing you as male? Me, 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 me. It's like, shut up. Um, and it, it, it's taken... It's not taking the enjoyment out of being read as male, but 
I, don't, I know I'm not enjoying it as much as I could. It's like hanging around with um, my brother's friends when I went down there and uh, just acting like I'm a bloke, because I am a bloke. But do you know what I mean? They're just treating me male, absolutely. But me, the, the enemy goes, why? Is it because they know I'm trans? Or they just, you know? <laughs> and I just want that to stop and just enjoy the fact that people are finally seeing me. I spent 15 months with a cloaking device on me. I was walking around as a man, but this cloaking device was making everyone think I was a woman. That cloaking device is gone now, so I'd just like to enjoy it and somehow change this, this image. I'm starting something really quite exciting this week that I think will help. Um, I had, had an email from Gender Intelli Intelligence offering some drama therapy. And after kind of hyperventilating about the idea, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this. I need to challenge the anxiety more, and I actually think that it will help because it's all done kind of through movement and metaphor and stuff and I think that will really help because it's my body that I'm having the issue with in terms of like how I'm presenting so maybe doing something like drama therapy movement and speech and stuff like that will help me to become more confident in my male body and see my male self kind of like make that image that's blurry in my head more focused you know maybe anyway that was a bit of a waffle but I hope you get what I was on about there and I'd love any comments about this and if guys have kind of experienced the same thing or experiencing the same thing, is there anything you've done or is it just a case of waiting for it to pass or just spending more time in male company and more time with trans guys and cis guys and people in general. I don't know. Any thoughts um, would be greatly appreciated as always. And if it was just a random mad waffle then please accept my apologies. Um, I will let you know how Wednesday goes. I'm very nervous. Um, I can be quite a clown, but it's one thing on here, and it's another thing in a room with people I don't know, or I might know, I don't know, because it would be trans guys, um, doing drama -y stuff. I have the craziest ideas. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye-bye.